So we have three colors, blue, green, and red, and we know that the blue amount is one-third as much as the red amount, right? The blue is one gallon and the red is three gallons. We need to figure out how much was green. And we also know that X, Y, and Z represent the percentages of blue, green, and red, respectively, out of a total of 100%. So I think I'll start with statement one. It seems a lot easier to evaluate because statement one is essentially telling us that there were equal amounts of blue and green. And since we know that the blue was one gallon, the green must also be one gallon. So statement one is sufficient on its own and we should go ahead and eliminate the answer choices that claim that it's not. So B, C, E are all gone and we're down to A or D. Now I think statement two is a lot more interesting and we'll evaluate that right after the intro. So statement two gives us the value of Z, right? So we know now that 60% of the total was red. But remember, we also know from the free info that the blue was exactly one third as much as the red, because it was one gallon versus three gallons. So if the red was 60%, the blue then must be 20%, because 20 is a third of 60, and that leaves us with only 20 more percent for the green, which means that blue and green were equal amounts, just like statement one said, which means these statements are inferentially equivalent. Either each is sufficient on its own, meaning the answer is D, or they're not sufficient on their own, and they also wouldn't be sufficient combined because they're saying the same thing, and then the answer would be E. So I go into this in section two of my book, which you could actually read for free on quantreasoning.com, and I explain why if the statements are essentially giving us the same information, we can eliminate A, B, and C without even reading the question. Now in this case, since each of the statements on its own implies that there are equal amounts of blue and green, and we know that the blue is one gallon, so we can infer that the green is also one gallon, the correct answer here is D. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.